So, Taurus, the overall energy whew, of this reading is the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords, Taurus. You're going through something. You're up in your head. You've got thoughts of trying to reason with yourself. You, there are thoughts of truth and clarity uh, when you have time alone. In your quiet times, anytime that um, you're doing something, uh, when it's quiet, they, these thoughts, they start to creep in. And um, they're really, you know, over and over and over. So what's going on here? This around your whole reading. And that's what the universe wants to talk about. Up here in your highest energy, I have the Ten of Cups. Wow. I think you're in love with somebody. I think you were thinking you'd be a couple. Maybe you will be. Um, with an equal exchange of love, sunshine and rainbows, union between two people. This is a beautiful card for, for love. I think you are in love with someone. I have the Page of Pentacles right above the Nine of Swords. Now remember, all cards are male or female. It's the energies that matter the most. Uh, this Page of Pentacles, um, this is about looking at your future. It's kind of a young page, it's a young energy. But the way the page is looking at that pentacle is as if it's a crystal ball. And trying to figure out if there's any way this relationship, whoever it is that you're in love with, can ever be grounded, secure, and stable. And probably move forward towards maybe even commitment. Wow. You're up in your head about this. But I have this devil right next to the page of pentacles. I think there's somebody else or something else in the picture that's getting in the way. First off, this is the card for Capricorn only because of the horns. But the energy of this card, the Devil card, is toxic. So there's something toxic going on in this relationship. It's like you're tied to somebody who is tied to someone or something else. So it can be a person. It can be an addiction. It can be just something that, that is coming between you and this relationship. This is what you're up in your head about. So right under the Ten of Cups and right next to the Nine of Swords is the Emperor. This is the card for Aries. So Aries might be strong in your chart or their chart or someplace around this reading. But the Emperor here is, um, they're, pretty, they're pretty stubborn. They're, you know, just take a look at this card. You can see they're sitting on a granite throne. You can't move that throne. That throne is put. And, um, you know, it's really hard to get the emperor to change their mind about the way they look at things or their decisions that they make in life. They can change your mind, but sometimes um, they're very stubborn. Um, I feel like this is the other person. I feel like they're kind of not budging from whatever place it is. I think they're bringing in the toxic energy. I think there's something attached to them. And it's almost like they don't want to let it go or they can't let it go. I think it's more like they don't want to for some reason. Um, they're very well liked and respected by others. They may be a leader in their profession. Um, but the emperor is who you're in love with, male or female. So um, it's right under the Ten of Cups. They're in your head, in your head. And... Um, on the other side of the Nine of Swords and under the toxic energy of the Devil, I have the Two of Wands. This tells me that you are contemplating on moving forward on your own. You're contemplating on leaving this relationship behind. Wow, no wonder we got the Nine of Swords surrounding your entire reading. You're not doing it yet, but you're definitely thinking about another way to go, another life cycle, another future um, in moving forward on your own. Wow. I have the Queen of Cups under the Emperor. This is water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. That might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But this is your energy. And, you know, I think it's part of the Emperor's energy, too. Um, this is about, this is the only cup in the deck with a lid on it. And there's little windows all the way around that cup. And inside that cup are answers to love questions. And I just feel like you've got tons of questions on your mind. And you're trying to seek answers through all these thoughts that just don't stop going through your mind right now. 
Um, you know, like, like, why don't they commit if they love me? Why do they have to hang on to this toxic energy? Why, you know, uh, why didn't I see this coming? Why didn't I know that they weren't able to, or weren't able or willing to commit? And for them, they may be trying to figure out the love too. They may be in a position where they're trying to figure out if they really have to let this other energy go. I feel like they're very attached to this other energy, whatever it might be. So um, they have feelings for you. It's this Queen of Cups is right under the Emperor. But do they want to move forward with these feelings? I think that's what they're what they're dealing with. Um, they're kind of you know I got this blocking the Seven of Wands, and this is under the Nine of Swords. I think you're for one thing you're trying to get out of your head. Okay, these thoughts that just keep coming in, coming in. And, um, you know, they may be saying things or have said things like, well, you never know what might happen down the road or something like that. And you're thinking back on, the, on what the emperor has said before, and you're kind of like um, on guard about it. It's right next to the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Wands. I feel like um, you're, you're wanting to come out of this state of being up in your head about all this. I think you really do want to move on. And I feel like the Emperor is um, trying to block these thoughts of thinking about the love. They're just trying not to deal with it. Uh, they feel like they're protecting themselves by not dealing with it. And um, they're really not, um, they just might not want to deal with it. Even though they do, they are, they do think about the love here. They do wonder um, truly, you know, what their real true feelings are in this whole situation. Yeah, I, I have the Two of Swords right next to the Seven of Wands. And the Two of Swords is under the Two of Wands. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the Two of Swords, I call this like the card of an ostrich like, like putting its head in the sand. So I think this is you. I think that you've known that this toxic energy was out there and around your person that you're in love with. I think you've known that. I think you have not dealt with it because you didn't want your heart to get broke. Your, your, your arms are guarding your heart. Your swords are up in self-protection. Your blindfold's on. That, that's where you, you like just don't want to deal with it and just hope it works itself out. Well, it's not, apparently, because you are still up in your head. And now you're starting to think about moving forward on your own. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, everybody that knows me knows that I cough when I talk a lot. So um, you're, you're trying to um, stop thinking. You just you want to stop this... Um, torturous, um, trying to uh, make sense of everything that's going on. You don't want to be in love anymore, but you still are. It's a really hard thing to work through here. And so you're trying to block your feelings, and um, you really want to move forward from this toxic energy one way or another. So I already have a couple cards here for the second part of this reading. Let's take out some more for, oops, for Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, here you are. You know, that's my first feeling is just a sigh. Um, waiting and waiting and waiting. I think, you know, you didn't deal with this for so long. It feels like you were just kept waiting for this pentacle. You kept waiting for this relationship to become more grounded, more solid uh, and secure. And it just, the waiting um, really was taking the toll on you. You're getting done with your waiting. You're really more thinking about moving on uh, from this. It's right next to your card, the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant um, being the card for Taurus, but the energy is different. The energy is about traditional values, traditional morals. It's very spiritual. It can um, include commitment, security, stability, groundedness, and marriage. Well, you kept waiting for this relationship to move forward. You're so in love, and it's just... Uh, all the waiting, all the not dealing with certain things, and the time was just ticking by, ticking by. So, um, waiting for this to come to fruition. But then, what I have here, 
is the Knight of Cups on the other side of the Hierophant. Now, I like to point out this Knight of Cups because <laughs> this Knight of Cups, this is an offer. This is a sincere love offer. Are you the one that made it? Oh, I, I feel like it's from them. I think the Emperor will be coming in with a sincere love offer. I think they're going to come up with some kind of way to try to make this relationship work. Now, I can only see one way in looking at these cards, and that is to get rid of the third energy, okay? Because that is what's toxic in this relationship. So if they come forward with this cup, they're going to know, they're going to know by now that this is what needs to be done. So I feel like they may be coming forward with a cup of offer. An, uh, an offer like, you know, let's try this again. Let's, um, you know, the third energy uh, is gone or I will do my best uh, or I will. Uh, there's something in this cup. They're very sincere and there is a lot of room for love in that cup. I have the hangman here. The hangman is the card for enlightenment. So I look around the hangman. See the enlightenment? The head all lit up? Well, the hangman knows you've been waiting and waiting for this relationship to become grounded. They know you're thinking about leaving totally and going off on your own, starting over again. And it's right next to the Two of Cups. Now, there's a couple things I can see that's possible with this Two of Cups being under the Hierophant next to the Hangman, and having the Devil card in this, um, I feel like they're good. when they come back, the Knight of Cups, I think they will come back alone. I don't think they are going to have this other energy tied to them. I think that they're going to want to restart this relationship. You're, you're such a good friend to them. I think they're realizing that. Your friend, you really, they want to be a friend to you. They were a friend to you, except for this other, this toxic energy that's in this reading. So this is soulmate card, friends with love. So I think they're going to come back and just really want to um, kind of start anew and see where this will be because it's right under the Hierophant. And they're, they're actually thinking that maybe perhaps there is a future for the two of you. They might, I don't see them saying so. I don't see them saying that. But I do see them wanting to start fresh with you. And I think that's what the hangman is pointing out. Because right next to this two of cups also, I have the hermit. Another very spiritual card. Um, card for Virgo. Virgo might be strong in your chart, their chart, or around this reading. But the Hermit here, um, this is seeking your path forward, and it's right under the Knight of Cups. And I think they're saying is, uh, well, looky here, uh, they're coming back, they're coming in with a cup, and they're going to want to rekindle this relationship. And what you don't know is everything that's on their mind, because they're the Emperor. I mean, it's so hard to change their mind, for them to give up something that they... You know, it's like they get attached to things, even. The emperor, uh, they have, they're so stubborn. They're so, um, it's like an object. They can get attached to an object, and it, it would just take breaking their fingers to get them to let go of it, you know? <laughs> so they're very stubborn. But they can uh, evolve, they can change your mind, they can realize things that you have been on their mind. I had the Queen of Cups here, remember that? So, the Hermit is saying they're coming back without the toxic energy, and it's right next to the Hangman as an enlightenment. Um, you may have told them that, that you'll be moving on on your own. Uh, either that or you're just thinking it. I'm not quite sure uh, what... Uh, gets them leaving the toxic energy behind, but um, I think it is known to them that this is what's going on. I have the Knight of Swords under the Hangman, and next to the Two of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, um, this is a very actionable card. Uh, you're taking action. You're moving forward. The, um, the sword is up, so you're still in self-protection mode, but there's no blindfold on, and there's movement taking place here. Truth, clarity. Um, it's coming in. The hangman's pointing this out. 
it's like a knight in shining armor. It's like they're coming in to claim uh, what they love. And it's you in this reading that they love uh, more than whatever else that they're tied to here. It takes, it's going to take them a lot of strength. And you too. This is a symbol of intuition and knowing there. And so what this card is saying is that you will know. Uh, you, you know what to do. You will know what to do. You will find the strength and the courage to do what you need to do. Uh, you may have done that already, but I feel like there's more to come. Um, this is a card for Leo. So Leo might be strong in your chart, their chart, or around this reading. So um, doing what you need to do, that's take the blindfold off. That is, you, you know, really taking action and taking that blindfold off, letting those swords down, open your heart if you want to uh, retry on this relationship like they do. I have a lot of communication next to the strength card. So this is part of the hermit. You know, this is right under the hermit, the very spiritual in your path forward. Uh, it has to do with a lot of communication. This is texting, emails, um, video chat, um, phone calls. <laughs> Sometimes I even forget phone calls nowadays. But yeah, but this is through the airways, back and forth, back and forth. And it's going to take a lot of strength to be able to trust them. It's the trust. And they've lost it. That You've kind of lost a lot of trust, but you still love them. So they're going to have to rebuild the trust. And I think that's part of this conversation where you have a meeting of the minds and they want to show you that they can do this. Wow. Taurus. I'm going to take out a clarifying card for this reading. And um, hopefully just one. There it is. That comes out. Oh, this is good. This is so good to come out. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles. This is about building on your future. This is about um, stability, security, uh, groundedness. It's, it's about focusing on what you've been waiting for. Um, and it lands right on the Devil card. So I think, I really think they're going to let this energy go. And if I look at this devil and it did not stand out to me before. But look, it's waving goodbye. It's saying, see ya. They're going to let it go. If this is your reading and they're going to want to work and build a relationship here. And actually work on a union they want to work on uh, a commitment, a secured relationship with you. They love you. And they're, they're finding this out. 